Good morning, Whitehead Wildcats. Good morning, Whitehead Wildcats. Buenos dias, Whitehead Wildcats. Buenos dias, Whitehead Wildcats. Today is Thursday, September 14th, and it is Theater Thursday. Theater Thursday. Theater Thursday. What's this Theater Thursday? <laughs> Theater Thursday is a time when we are going to have different people from all over the place, not just here at Whitehead, read or share their favorite book with us and tell us kind of about what they do. That sounds pretty amazing. Yeah. Who is sharing their favorite book with us today? Okay, so I'm not sharing my favorite book because my favorite book is at home and I didn't bring it to school yet. It's a really good wait, one. Wait. Did you guys all just hear your principal say she came to school unprepared? I, I did. I did. I didn't bring my favorite book today. But I am going to share a book that caught my eye in the library <coughs> that I thought was hilarious. It's called Are You a Cheeseburger? I'm not a cheeseburger. I thought this looked fantastic, and it's by Monica Arnaldo. So it's a little long. I'm not going to read the whole thing. I'm just going to read a little bit. But if you want to check this out in the library and see how it ends, you certainly can. There is a grub. Grub is a raccoon, and he is all by himself. See? Oh, hi, grub. He's all by himself. And here is a seed. The seed is a seed, of course, and he is stuck in the trash. Oh, no. Poor seed. I know. I'm guessing that's that's what this guy is. Oh, maybe. I thought I didn't. I thought he was a kiwi. I made a wrong hypothesis <laughs> or prediction. <laughs> this particular seed and this particular raccoon had very little in common, except at that moment they were both in the same garbage can. Hello, said seed. Grub continued rooting around. Oh, you are busy. That is all right. I am busy too. Grub stopped. Are you? I am looking for someone to plant me in the ground so I can start growing. Grub eyed the seed hungrily. Will you grow food? I am not sure, seed admitted. Could you grow a cheeseburger? Do cheeseburgers grow on trees? No, they grow on bushes. Oh, I gotta get me a cheeseburger bush. <laughs> Could you imagine? You don't know how fat I would be. We, we could plant them in the courtyard. What is a cheeseburger? Grub considered this. Something very good and very special. Hmm. Maybe we will have to wait and see. Grub had never seen a cheeseburger plant before. I bet the chickens would love a cheeseburger plant. <laughs> right? I'm, uh, I'm game for this. Someone become a scientist and genetically create a cheeseburger bush. Jasper, I'm calling on you. Make me a cheeseburger bush. That would be the best. But he liked the sound of it. So he planted seed right away. Now what, Grub asked. Seed's voice called up faintly from underground. Now we wait. Huh. Grub's stomach growled. How long? I'm not sure. We will have to wait and see. The two spent every evening together from morn ri morn rise. From moonrise to moonset, Grub tried to be patient, but Seed began to wonder, what if he wasn't a cheeseburger plant? What if he was something entirely different? I want that kind of plant. Yeah, a donut plant. That sounds yummy. <laughs> to help pass the time, they told stories. Grub told Seed about the top three cheeseburgers he had ever eaten. I don't, I don't have top three cheeseburgers. Mm -hmm. I really like Culver's. Do you? Culver's Cheeseburgers and Burger King. I don't really know of another restaurant that has good cheeseburgers. I do, but they're all small little spots in uh, all the way towns. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. One, half a cheeseburger, barely moldy. Oh. That sounds delicious. I'm glad it was barely moldy. Barely. Number two, a piece of cheeseburger bun with some mustard on it, wrestled away from seagulls. No. Oh. I don't like mustard. They always taste better when you win it from someone else. Right, when you've won the food. <laughs> and number three, a greasy paper wrapper Grub could tell had once contained a cheeseburger. I don't think I'd like the paper wrapper. You just want to lick it. No. no. <laughs> All right, boys and girls. Well, you can check this out in the library. Are you a cheeseburger? And then you can tell us if we're going to get a cheeseburger bush. Speaking of being hungry, what's for lunch and breakfast? Today's lunch is not a cheeseburger. Oh man, that would have been so serendipitous. It is a Philly cheesesteak, Bosco sticks, or pizza snack packs. You got it. <laughs> Steamed broccoli, baby carrots, bananas, or raisins. And tomorrow for breakfast, cereal. 
with peaches and juice. Okay. Which brings us to the plunge. No. Birthdays. Birthday. Don't skip the birthdays. There's a couple. Oh, second grader Enrique Caballero. Happy birthday. Third grader. Anna Ayala, happy birthday. Happy birthday, kiddos. Make sure you guys come on down to the front office for your special surprise. All right, now we get to do the pledge in English, so stand on up. I was just so excited to say the pledge. I know. <laughs> All right. I, I pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United, United States, States of America, America and, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, God indivisible with liberty and justice for all all right boys and girls stay standing for that whitehead creed we're gonna go nice and slow we are the whitehead community we, we honor, honor and respect, respect each other we, we are safe and kind we believe in justice we work hard to excel in learning we are all different and that's what makes us great now go out there, boys and girls, and have a... Thumping Thursday. Ooh, I like that. Bye.